Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wanted to show you a few examples for this IXL assignment. It's under sixth grade tab, and it says R7 ratio tables. Um, the first few questions will be fairly easy. You're looking for a ratio, a, a pattern. You can go down in the column. So one, two, three, four. Obviously, this is a two. And three, four, and this looks like a five. So the pattern would be one goes to 12 or one to 12 and two to 24. See, these are equal, right? Three to 36 and four to 48. All these are the same quantities and five to 60. The value of each of these, if you divide the numbers, you get the value. They have to be the same when you divide. So this was fairly easy, but then they get a little harder. And I wanted to show you that. By the way, you are using a calculator for this. So have one handy. A phone is not a good calculator because you're not allowed to use it in class. But if that's all you have, use it. So this is a little harder. See how the pattern jumps from three to 63 to 69 and so forth. And we don't know what's going on here either. So the connection, the, the ratio is hard to tell. So this is where you can use your, hopefully you have watched both videos for lesson one and two. You're going to do a cross product or cross multiply. I showed you how to do that in the video. Try the homework first and then try this assignment. Cross multiply means you're setting up a ratio, two equal ratios. So you can pick any set of numbers where you have a blank. So I'm going to use these, this right here. So you can do it several ways, but the order matters. So I'm going to write here, order must be the same for both fraction. For both fractions, okay? So I can say 63 and then pick maybe 69. And then because I started here, I got to put this number on top. I'll call it X for right now. That's my unknown value over 46. So that would be one way to set it up. You can also say, I'll give you another choice, 63 over X. And you started here, so I'm going down here is 69 over 46. However you do it, it has to be the same order. And I'll give you one more choice how to do it correctly. You can also say X over 46 is equal to started here. So I'm going here and put that on top, 63 over 69. Either of these will work. However, you cannot say 63 over X is equal to 46. So I'm gonna put that in red over here so you see that this does not work. So let's say you say 63 over X. So you started here, you went here and then start with a 46 again over 69. This would be a one way that doesn't work. Now remember to to uh, find the cross product or cross multiplying to find that missing number, you, you multiply across. So you draw your little, I'm gonna use this equation and you multiply the, the word multiplying. 69 times X is simply 69 X. Then comes the equal sign 46 times 63. This is where you use your calculator. I have one. Um, let me see if I find it. And hopefully this, share, try sharing this calculator. This one is an online one. Now, of course, I have to remember the numbers. Uh, do, do, do. Where am I? It was 63 times 46. 63 and then times 46 equals 2,898. I'm gonna put that down. 2,898. 
And then to find that missing number, you divide by 69. So now it turns, first you multiply and then it turns into a division problem. So I'm, all I'm doing is dividing by 69. So I got my number in the calculator and since I don't need to retype it, you click the division sign, 69 equals, um, is it 69? Ooh. Let me try that again. Two thousand eight hundred and ninety eight divided by sixty nine equals forty two. Okay, I have to go back, make sure I'm sharing this. So our missing number is forty two. So now I need to find the other one. So I'm using, so you always need three numbers to find the fourth one, right? 42, okay. So you need three numbers to find the fourth one. You can use these three to find this one. So I'm going to set this proportion up here. So I can say three over 63 equals, and then I, since I started at three, I have to start with the X over 42. It's one way to set it up. There's several ways. And now I use cross product and that's multiplying. Product means multiplying. So 42 times three is 126. 63 times the unknown number is 63 times X, which is 63 times the unknown number. So X is, you divide by 63, that goes away. 126 divided by 63, I believe is two. So our unknown number is two. And then submit. Okay, let's see what my third lesson page looks like. It's probably very similar. Okay, so you have to find three missing. So you're going to do the cross product three times. I'm just showing you one. So you pick any three numbers. The fourth one is what you're looking for. So let's call it three over the unknown quantity is the same as two over 42. Three over that is the same as two over that. The order matters that it's the same cross product, three times 42 is 126. X times two is two times that number. So X is equal to divide by two. And what do we get? 126 divided by two is 63. Okay, so we got that one. Now to get this one, choose three, three different numbers that include that fourth one that you're looking for. So I'm going to use this little set right here. And so I have 69 over 84 equals 46 over the number we're looking for, we're calling X. You could also say 69 over 46 is equal to 84 over X. You could also say 46 over X is equal to 69 over 84. There's certain ways to do it, as long as the order is the same. Cross product, 69 times the number, what we're looking for is just 69 times that number. 84 times 46. That's where your calculator comes in. Eighty four times forty six. I got three thousand eight hundred and sixty four. So this right here is 3,864 
864. And then our number we're looking for, you divide by that 69. And I get 56. So that would go right here. And then for the last, you would probably choose these here. I'll show you one more. I'm going to say 84 over 87 is equal to 56 over the missing number X cross product 84 times X is equal to 56 times 87. Multiply that out. Fifty-six times eighty-seven, four thousand eight hundred and seventy-two. And then our number that we're looking for, you need to divide by eighty-four to get that. And that's fifty-eight. So this is 58, submit. Make sure you use your calculator and you try this out firsthand. Otherwise you can just go for it and see how you're faring, but good luck to you.